My name is Mirza Muhasilovic. I am an architect and a real estate developer from Sarajevo, Bosnia. What we are going to present here today is a real estate project that will be developed in Sarajevo, in Ilija district, Osijek area of Ilija. It is a project based on a land which is around 18,000 square meters and the total size of the project is around 60,000 square meters. It consists of five buildings um, which will be developed and I would like to tell you a little bit more about the details of this project. It is situated in a beautiful landscape, flat land surrounded by picturesque mountains in Sarajevo. It sits right next to the river, uh, which makes it more attractive. The area itself is residential and what we are planning to build is a multifunctional project, hospital, apartment complex and a hotel with, a, with an auxiliary two buildings. It, we are inspired by medical park projects throughout the world being uh, very lucrative and being very popular lately. Uh, from what we understand is that medical tourism industry is the fastest growing industry in the world. So the project will be a luxury medical facility with a hotel, five-star hotel, containing all the amenities of a luxury hotel with a swimming pool, wellness center. Um, it would be uh, available for celebrations, weddings. Of course, uh, Bosnia's tourism industry is on the rise and we have around 2 million arrivals uh, per year uh, to Sarajevo, mostly from Middle Eastern countries, Gulf region and Turkey. We also have a large number of European visitors coming to Sarajevo. What we are hoping to achieve is to have a regional medical tourism center with high quality service, five star rooms at the disposal of our customers. Um, the site itself is three kilometers away from the center of Elija. Elija is a district of Sarajevo in Bosnia and it is about 10 kilometers from Bascharsia, the, the old core, the old center of the city. Uh, the site we're talking about is uh, three kilometers from Elija, five kilometers from the international airport. It is very it has a very good access roads and uh, the area itself is not very busy. It is uh, scarcely inhabited, mostly residential. Now, we had been developing this project for almost five years. We started off with a small concept for a residential compound. However, uh, seeing the opportunity and the potential of the area, we came up with different concepts. This concept was the final one, being a hotel, a medical clinical center with an apartment building complex. Uh, we had already passed the master plan. Uh, what you can see here is a current master plan layout, which is being uh, passed by the city. Uh, as you know, in Bosnia, uh, you cannot build unless there is a master plan. So the master plan is in place, it is available. Uh, whoever buys the land or invests in the project can steadily move forward with the development. Now, the building, the total areas, the table with the total areas shows there are a total of five buildings, uh, which allows a phased approach to the development. If one, one can start off with a smaller building, 720 square meters, move on to a 1,200 square meters and then uh, 9,000 square meters, 11 and 14,000 square meters successful uh, uh, in, in, a, in a sequence. Uh, meaning 
one can start off with a small project, uh, sell it, lease it, move on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. It is a very flexible compa complex uh, to be developed. Um, also, cost-wise, and also our business plan shows this dynamics. Uh, one starts off with, with, with a smaller project and moves on. The whole project would be built in around three years. This is a typical uh, local uh, timing for, for such a project. Uh, the total uh, cost of the project is 52 million euros. Uh, this does not include any cost of financing. This is uh, cost as one would uh, spend it or one would invest as an equity fi financing. Uh, however, the way we structured our business plan, our uh, proposal is that part of the project is being financed by equity and another part is being financed by, uh, by the banks. Local banks are willing to enter into such venture. Uh, so the 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 the, the deal uh, the the structure of the project the financial structure of the project is uh, 25 million in equity or 24.8 and uh, 22.4 million financed through the banks. The equity share is 53 percent of the total investment and the debt share is uh, 47 percent of the total investment. Now, getting back to the concept here, uh, the size, this, the project of this size uh, would not only be uh, effective locally or uh, country-wise, it, it will be a regional project, uh, meaning our customers would be coming definitely from neighboring countries like Croatia, Serbia, Montenegro, uh, but also, um, and, and there is 17 million people uh, in this region, this only ex-Yugoslavia region uh, with these three countries, four countries. Uh, however, we have other, other con countries, other, other, uh, other markets which we are hoping to source. There is a large uh, expatriate community of Bosnians living abroad who frequently who, who come to Bosnia for medical services because they're cheaper here, they're more convenient and they come here over the summer to do their teeth or do their uh, uh, other treatments. So there, there is a at least at least twenty to thirty million uh, people market for a project uh, like of this size. Um, here, here is a business model canvas. Uh, one one can look at it uh, in a detail in the PowerPoint presentation. I will not be getting into the details of this, and uh, we're, we're showing here what is possible. And here are some visuals of the for the project. Um, these are just concepts. We haven't done any layout. We haven't done any plans yet. We are leaving this to the partners, to the investor, uh, to, 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 to prepare the project as he or she wishes. Um, here are financial assumptions for the project. Now, the, the total development cost is at 50 million, 50.8 million. Uh, the total project cost is 52.3 million. Now the difference is 52.3 million does include the financial cost. Um, uh, the financing is structured uh, whereby uh, part of it would be financed through the banks, part of it would be financed through equity. Uh, the project has a fantastic financial yields and returns. Uh, uh, project IRR on equity alone is uh, at 23%. Um, sorry, project uh, equity IRR is 23%, where, whereas whereby uh, the project on equity part is 27%. Now, the way we structure the equity part is we foresee an anchor investor and equity partners, uh, where anchor investors get a preferred return and equity partners get somewhat diminished return. All these details are uh, explained in the business plan, which is probably which is included in the in the CD or the the, the USB stick which you received. Uh, the funding, uh, the way time-wise is structured, we would begin in December, 
uh, the development, meaning we would start off with the plans and the permits, uh, and then in the construction would be starting off in May, uh, and then uh, it ends 36 months later, and then we would start leasing uh, 18 months after we start developing, meaning because the project is multi-phased, we could finish out some buildings and then lease them or sell them and move on to the next buildings. Uh, and then the, the units are fully leased one month after the construction is, is set and we have an exit strategy and I'm talking about the business plan with the sale at, uh, in November 2025. Um, this is an assumptions page showing the funding and, or the, the dynamics of, of financing and the equity investment. And uh, the finding dynamics is an interesting part you should maybe focus on. Um, we have anticipated that a project of this size would probably not be financed by a single investor. Uh, our options are all our options all options are available. Um, if there is such an investor to buy the whole project, be a sole investor, so be it. We're willing to sell the land to a sole and single investor. However, uh, we have structured the, the financial plan in such a manner that uh, owner of the land, Mr. Shamsuddin Makic, is um, a single owner and he's willing to participate as a partner in the project, where he would find an anchor investor who would put in a certain amount of equity by buying two-thirds of the land, whereby Mr. Makic will be holding uh, or would be investing a third of his share into the project. So them together would establish a company and the company would be the vessel for development of the project. The land would be introduced into the company, it would be appraised and then moved as a capital into the company. Uh, Mr. Makic, Makic and, Ms. And, and an anchor investor would then contribute one million by Mr. Makic and two million by an equity partner, uh, cash into the company which would be used to bring the project to the construction start, meaning this money would be used for planning, uh, designs, permits, uh, taxes paid to the city for development. Everything would be ready for equity partners. Uh, they would be holding a construction permit at a point where they would seek or where equity partners would enter into the project and they would contribute um, additional 22, sorry, uh, additional 18 million, 18.1 million euros to the project, which would be used to start off construction and finish out maybe 50% of the project, after which part a bank would be stepping in by financing and holding mortgage over the construction already performed, uh, the bank would contribute additional 22.4 million and the project would be finished. So, I mean, this is just a proposal. It's not set in, it's not cast in, in concrete. It is not finalized. It is just a proposal for a potential investor or investors. But uh, once again, um, all options are a possible, full sale of the land, partly, part, partial, partial sale of the land, partnership with investors, all options are available. Please read the business plan carefully. All these details are outlined in the business plan. All the numbers are uh, outlined. So if you have any questions, be free to contact us. Thank you for your attention.